it turns out that a fourth titration is necessary. So look at your calculation and see how the results for the second and third titration for molarity of sodium hydroxide are close to each other. In fact, they're very close. And the first one is a little off. So I'm going to do a fourth titration and hope that the results of the fourth titration are close to titration two and three. And if that's the case, I will not be using titration one trial in my averaging of sodium hydroxide. But it all has to do with how well we do this titration trial. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh uh, my sample again. So let's show you the weigh process. So the mass I have is 0.437, which is slightly higher than the previous mass. So I actually went up to 0.438. So please record the last titration, hopefully the last, but this is our trial 4, is 0.437. Actually, it went down to 0.437. So uh, it seems like it's somewhere in between. So it doesn't matter which one you record it as. But uh, let's see, 0.438 it is, so we'll go with that. I'll remove it quickly so it doesn't change. So please record 0.438. So again, the same technique of transferring, which is wet transfer of the solid. There it is. I have quantitatively transferred 0 0.430 grams into my flask. Let's not forget our indicator. And because this is slightly higher than the last titration, I can go ahead and safely add uh, the previous volume of the titration. So let's go ahead and I think it was like roughly around 2021. 20, so I can go ahead and pour that in. Okay, color should go away. Well, the reason you're seeing the pink is because I didn't let the KHP dissolve. So 
I can still see KHP because it was surprising to me that after adding 20.7 roughly the color was not changing there it is it's changing now so we are very close but again it's very important to have the entire KHP dissolved and I didn't give it enough time in fact I don't remember even shaking it like this or swirling it to dissolve it so we are close again so I'm going to add my titrant drop by drop but I think we are still like maybe a milliliter or so away so it's not super close but the drops are going relatively fast Okay, I think I even got it. Just want to make sure everything is dissolved so we won't have a color change. But I see a few specks here. So here it is. Color is going away because I'm still dissolving my KHP. So dissolving your KHP is a very important step that you have to make sure that it's completely dissolved. So I'm going to go ahead and add very slowly now. And then I'm going to wait again to make sure if the color goes away uh, then I know I still have a little bit of KHP left I'll check it visually and it looks like there's a tiny there's like one last crystal of KHP left which may make the color go away or it may not but there's actually a hanging drop here so I'm going to just go ahead and remove that that's always like a spare drop for you which already accounts toward the volume so looks like I have it because I don't see any KHP in here at least not visibly but let's go ahead and mix just to make sure if the color stays on then we have it It looks good. What do you say? We've got our pink. So let's go ahead and record this volume. So I'm going to bring the camera down to the level of the readout. So please record this. Again, it might be useful to pause the video and Okay, so do your calculation. 